Just do something to tell you who I am, you know? Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek NR. And today we're going to talk about some awesome news that came across my desk from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment, which is the announcement of the Superman animated series being released in high def on Blu-ray coming very, very soon. I'll put the release dates up there so you can check it out and see when it's coming out and start planning accordingly because this show, I love this show. I know I'm a big fan of the Batman animated series and I know a lot of you are too, but if you've never seen the Superman one that followed up Batman, it was awesome. They did like three seasons of Batman and then they did the Batman or Superman, uh, Batman Superman movie, I believe. And then three seasons of Superman, I, or maybe not in the, that exact order, but it was like kind of like a mix and match of that. But it was basically three Batman seasons three Superman seasons, then we got a fourth Batman season called The New Adventures of Batman and Robin, and then that went into Justice League and then Justice League Unlimited, um, and Batman Beyond obviously as well. I just really love that universe that everyone created, everyone who worked on it, Paul Dini, Alan Burnett, uh, Bruce Timm, um, Andrea Romano, uh, Kevin Conroy, everyone who brought it to life, you know, uh, from voice actors to you know, the people behind the cameras, the animators, like everyone who worked on this, Mark Hamill, like I'm just a huge fan like this that universe was awesome and then you go to superman where you had tim daly and dana delaney the amazing dana delaney who i have a huge crush on um i, I as lois she's fantastic and uh, i loved this show this show was amazing it had a lot of really great episodes it introduced me to a lot of characters too um when it first aired i'm sure but definitely post aneurysm when i was going back and watching like uh you know dvds and old cartoon episodes of stuff i uh, uh, trying to jog memories and, and kind of figure out and reconnect with I guess who I was you know like after my aneurysm I didn't have a lot of memories and I was going through my stuff and I was like wow I have a lot of Batman stuff I have Superman stuff um, a lot of Green Lantern stuff and so I was like going through and when I came across you know these cartoons I just started putting them on one day because a lot of times I was sitting around sitting at home or doing stretches you know or, you know you know preparing for physical therapy or things like that and I was just got inundated with this and supernatural and like all these shows that i'm still a fan of transformers uh stuff that i watched before my aneurysm that i was a fan of and then reconnected with afterwards and found myself still enjoying them and the superman show was awesome like it's just a really cool thing and i think a lot of times people you know go out and praise the batman animated series which they should it's a, a phenomenal show but i don't hear a ton of people equally talking about the Superman uh, animated series, and I thought this show was fantastic. So if you've never seen the show before, I highly recommend checking it out. If you have HBO Max, you could probably watch it on there, but also if you don't, uh, or you're just a collector like I am, definitely pick up the Blu-ray when it comes out. I mean, it comes with, I think, all three seasons and the Batman Superman movie, if I'm not mistaken, um, but I'll put up on screen there if I'm wrong about that. Uh, but we're gonna get all this uh, very, very soon, and there's a release date again, and I'm excited for it. I mean, I loved a lot of these episodes. It's a great beginning, middle, and end story. Like, I know a lot of times you watch cartoons and you're like, oh, I wish they got one more season. I mean, obviously we got Justice League and Justice League Unlimited after this, but as a Superman story, this had like a nice beginning, middle, and end, and it had some tragedy in the ending. It definitely had like, like a, you know, more of a Empire Strikes Back kind of ending in a way in some regards uh, where it was kind of a down note. Uh, but then that led into Just League, which, you know, picked it back up again, too. So for me, I just liked these three seasons and the movie, the Batman Superman movie um, was awesome. But I also like the episode where Superman goes to Gotham and Batman's missing. And he has to team up with Robin uh, and he dresses as Batman. Superman puts on the Batman costume and then walks around or flies around with Robin uh, protecting Gotham against a bunch of criminals. And it's really, really fun episode. And there's all kind of fun stuff. So there are crossovers, but then there's also characters like Green Lantern, you know, first appeared before we got Jon Stewart in the Justice League cartoon. We had Kyle Rayner as, uh, you know, as Green Lantern in the Superman cartoon. We had Dr. Fate show up on the Superman cartoon. We also had the Flash on the Superman cartoon and they did their race around the world kind of thing uh, with Weather, uh, Weather Wizard in there and stuff. So this show was just fantastic. It's a great time and I highly recommend picking it up when it comes out on Blu-ray. And if you have thoughts on it, you have a favorite episode, whatever it is, let me know down below and if the blu-ray or when, when the blu-ray comes out and if i'm able to pick it up i'll definitely try to review a couple episodes per season um, just to kind of give you my thoughts on some of my favorite episodes for sure so again let me know down below and we'll continue the conversation down there thanks so much for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you up up and away peace